League on EA Sports. And we'll see Garrett Wilson. He comes in second in the NFL in touchdown receptions. It's the Commanders and the Giants. All that and more coming up next. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Today, week 17 is upon us, and we've got a good one in store here. It's going to be the New York Giants taking on the Washington Commanders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about this Commanders team coming into play here today. They come in riding high, just one loss in their last seven games. It's a very focused team, very disciplined. They get the penalties to a minimum, and they're winning football games. On the other side of the field for the visiting Giants, they've certainly found their groove of late, winners of five in a row. And I think the sky's the limit for this team. They're playing the best football that they've played in a long time. forward to this one all week and we are underway here on EA Sports from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and they'll get him down right at the 25 yard line so the same result had he opted for the touchback so here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game and they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback I tell you what when he's on schedule for that week secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach on time when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. The numbers for him from a week ago, 16 carries, 65 yards. There were some signs of life from their ground game last week, but overall, just a so-so performance. Everyone knows they can make a side of how they contribute to this aspect of the offense. Lyman can set their blocks and hold them a little bit longer, and he can be quicker to the hole and hit a lane. If they do that, they should get some better numbers produced this week. Back to throw now on first down. And yeah, that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Here's a give, Lewis running left. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And see, you look at this defense, you know, what kind of pressure are they under trying to stop a team that has won five games in a row? Well, to me, it makes their job harder because you know you're going up against an offense that's playing at an elite level, and sometimes you can get too caught up in trying to play a perfect game. You're trying to be too precise, too fine, instead of just letting it rip. And I think that's more the priority than trying to be absolutely perfect. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Second and ten, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And you know, I gotta say, if it's gonna be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. And they're gonna have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 40. Lewis between the tackles, powering forward. And oh, he shreds a tackle. Now he's got some space. All the way down to the nine. 49 yards rushing for him here. What a start to the ball game. It's first and goal. They'll look to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. That's good for a gain of six. Second and goal. Up the middle here, it's Lewis. And he takes it into the end zone for a giant TD. A great play there. His fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Giants get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. 
Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. At a glance at the man under center at 6'5", he always demands attention. And he comes to the end of the season leading the NFL in passing yards. And that's not necessarily something you set out to do at the beginning of the year, but it's a good illustration of how remarkable and consistent he's been all season. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And the slam pattern here complete. They wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. They'll run for the first time here with Brian Robinson. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Here comes third and about a foot. Robinson will try to pick it up. Shifts by him. And this is going to be a commander's first down as the tackle made at about the 38. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up the touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Robinson with another carry. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The numbers in last week's ball game for Robinson. 17 carries, 64 yards, and a touchdown. And that's 10 touchdowns on the season for him on the ground. And remember our meeting with the coaching staff, they did share with us that one of their goals for the year was for him to get in the end zone at least 10 times. And that brings up into their bigger goal to try and get 20 overall as a team. Now he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one, 28 yards on the ground. You were telling me this yesterday. That's exactly what they want to do on the open drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We are talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. Oh, this one and they need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. He'll drop to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Back to the ground with Robinson. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Holding offense. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. there Brandon third down they just said we've got faith in our tacklers we'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks so every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore plays like that I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense after one seven three the score on EA Sports 
second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football. As they've got it as we resume action. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys <laughs> have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated. As you know, they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now here's a throw that's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. They'll look to throw here on first down. His throw incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. They'll look to throw again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, that's a defense coordinator. He's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Again, he'll drop the throw. First one here's away. That's pulled in at the 32. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return, and the Commanders will take over with a first and ten. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. Their drive last time it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them. That's not how a drive you're supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he'll be brought down at the 48 yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Taken in left side, it's Wilson. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll make it second down. Robinson up the middle. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. They'll look to throw here. And that will be incomplete. Credit the Giants defense that time in pass coverage. Fourth down. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and that will keep this a four-point game. And any time you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading out of the field again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just take the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. From just shy of midfield, here's a second down at six. On play action, they'll throw. Now, a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. I would say it might be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. 
but I also don't have that you're waiting that long. Next series before you get out there. Hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Well, he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Brian Robinson Jr. making his way back onto the field. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes you might want to swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with a run so far. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. On the give, here's Robinson. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position, now more than ever, is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes, and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. 80 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. He used the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Side by Robinson. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Well, they use him a lot out of the backfield. He had five catches a week ago, and he makes another catch here for good yardage. Now on first down, he'll drop the throw. Wilson's got it complete. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. Looking to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn yet another first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And it's caught. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Back to throw again. And did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown. A great effort there. With touchdown number seven on the year. And Washington has taken the lead. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word? Quick, quick hitter out of his hands fast into the receiver's hands even faster. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times, but as you pointed out, Use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points on? Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion right here. On 
Third down, it's Lewis. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Well, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. But not what you want to see this late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him, and we'll step aside for a moment. They'll look to throw now on first down. That's complete right side to Gabriel. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 23. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Oh, a lot of credit to the play caller here. He saw the design in his mind and implemented it. A little zone structure here because they started the tight end on the left side of the formation and set him on a crossing route. And this works really well where you can find that space between levels and they were able to do so for good yardage. On first down, he'll drop to throw. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that will bring up second down. They'll drop the throw. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. I'm not liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep him out of the end zone as the first half winds down. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Terry McLaurin as the first half is winding down. And the Giants have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Point after try, forthcoming. And that makes it 14-10. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's finished off by a Terry McLaurin touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we've reached halftime here on New Year's Eve. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! We'll get started up at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly. And as they come towards halftime, it's the Eagles who have the lead in that one. A touchdown pass there for Jalen Hurts. From there, we head down to the Sunshine State. To check on the Jaguars at home in Jacksonville. And they trail the visiting Chiefs in that one. Rasheed Rice, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. Lastly, let's get to the Windy City. See what's happening with the Bears at home at Soldier Field. And that one, all time. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Washington down on the scoreboard, but they are getting the football first here, and we are back underway on EA Sports. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. The Commanders up first on offense as we begin this third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them, because is it going to win the game? No. But you have to do something to bring some life to it. 
to your sideline. Here now, second and four. Hand off now to Robinson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 91 yards rushing for him now as he's won it 11 times. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just a series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just got to find a way to tackle someone. They run. Robinson. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Four yards the pickup. First down. They'll set up to throw. Looking now, and that's complete. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good old scheme down. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. They'll set up a throw. They'll go over the middle of the lead complete. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Back to throw. And a completion to Wilson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 18. for a pickup of four. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Commanders are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. He'll drop to throw. Is taken in for a Washington touchdown from eight yards out. And the Commanders have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the throw. Bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just already know. Heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. But he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Deron Payne make that now eight sacks for him on the season. A tough spot here, third and 15. Now back to throw. They'll try and set up the screen, it's complete. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And the Giants send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And 
a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Set to go again. Here's Brian Robinson, the commander offense. He is knocking on the door for 100 yards in this ball game. And it's so important. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Just short of it, a little bit over. A little bit over this feels better to everyone. Offensive line, running back, team totals. Just something magical about breaking that barrier. He's right there on the doorstep now. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. Two yards on the pickup, but that's all they needed to move the sticks. And this is just a little touch pass. The second receiver in motion just kind of tap it forward to him. Now, it doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. A nice, consistent game. Now, well, this one is tied in out on the right side. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and it'll be second down. He'll look to throw. Out to the left here to Reed. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Giants' drive will start from deep in their territory with a first and ten. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Jamin Davis there to bring him down. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Call it a gain of two as time has run out on this third quarter of play. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And a man and he hits him in stride. So they get nothing out of that play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. They got the lead here in the second half. That's the last penalty you want to commit. And they were getting the ball. Why are you going after the punter there? Just take the football and keep going. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. They'll look to throw. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. to throw. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one they've been able to capitalize on it and no adjustment has been made to take it away. 
They'll motion McLaurin left. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. From the 48-yard line, here's second down at eight. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. They'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he will have the Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I get a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. So from the 37, here's a second and eight. They'll look to throw here. And into a sea of defenders have intercepted. And the commanders will take over here just shy of the 30. Well, when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. As the commanders make their way out on offense, let's take a peek at the playoff picture in the NFC. Well, including this week, three weeks remain in the regular season, Charles, and it is going to be interesting to see how this playoff picture sorts itself out before we head into the postseason. Competitive, entertaining postseason, that's what we're always striving for. I think we get it during the regular season, too. Because you never know how things are going to go during the final weeks of the season. Every team pulled out all the stops to get a better seed or just to get one of those seven seats at the table. And a throw here. Hold in. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. A little football one on one there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and a couple. Now, here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. They'll look to throw again. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have the commander's first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. He's been the go-to guy, and they needed a big play there on third down when his way it worked out. doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson, and he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards, and they'll be left with a second and about a foot. and 10. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. And now right out of the two-minute break, they'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And he's and he will have a commander's first down, and that should just about do it. The 
Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Second and goal from the sixth this time. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college carrying it around campus, right? You go on the drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to swell the lead to six. And this one is right through. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let him put some points on the board. Well, they had one final chance here on the kick return, but no chance on the other side that they were going to let him navigate all the way to the end zone, Charles. And that ends up being the final play in this one. Yeah, you're right about that. Special teams coaches, they spend a lot of time working on these types of situations, and they go over every crazy possibility that can happen in this situation. They were able to cover successfully and end the game. So for Washington, they improved their mark to 12 and four with one game to go. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For